Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, here's how to turn off Fastboot. And here's an explanation of why you should or should not turn on or off Fastboot. So we just had two videos talking about things that happen because of Fastboot being enabled in Windows. So let's go to the Control Panel in the Search just type control in Windows 10 or 11, it's the same. Go into control panel. And in the control panel, go, if it's, by the way, if it's not, you know, the uh, icons like this, just go on the uh, upper right corner and say view by large icons uh, to see the same view that I have. Power options is where you want to go. Here, you'll go on the upper left to choose what the power buttons do. Now, here, you have turn on fast startup. By default, this is what is selected. Now mine is off because I turned it off, but yours probably is on. Notice you can't change anything, both in Windows 10 and 11, because you have to go up here and say change settings that are currently unavailable. Once that is done, you'll have access to the bottom panel here of the settings. Now, remove, turn on fast startup if you want to remove it, or maybe turn it on if it's off. And here's the explanation of why you should turn it on or off. If you have a really old PC and it's running Windows 10, um, one of the things that you might have is a uh, mechanical hard drive. Mechanical hard drives our standard hard drives are very slow compared to solid state drives. When you turn off the fast startup, when you remove that check mark, turn on fast startup, what happens is that your PC will have to load Windows totally from scratch every time you turn on your computer. This will make the boot time longer. And in old PCs that are on mechanical hard drives, this could be very long. And this could be a reason why for an old computer, you might want to keep it on. And you want to make sure that turn on fast startup is there. Because that could make a huge difference. If you're the one that doesn't have much patience in waiting for the boot up of your PC, on the, especially on an old computer with mecha mechanical hard drive, um, keep that turned on and that will be better. If you have a more modern PC with a solid state drive, um, often the boot time isn't that different. It might be slightly longer, but not enough to be much of a problem. And especially on very modern PCs, it could be even better. So that means you could actually turn it off. And that means that now when you shut down, you actually start a fresh copy of Windows every time rather than having a, um, you know, a image of or a, a page file with information and, and the minimum of how you know, Windows, what, you know, the, the state of Windows the last time that you actually shut down um, was there. Why would you want to turn this off? Well, because of problems that could arise sometimes. Um, if your computer never restarts, the usage that you have on your PC accumulates problems. So every time you shut down, since it doesn't really shut down, it keeps you know information, it keeps all that it needs to kind of come back at the same state it was last time. When that state is fine and doesn't have issues, it's okay. And most of the time it's okay. But when that state contains errors, contains a problem, then you actually start your PC always with some kind of issue. So that can increase blue screens. It can increase problems with software crashing. It could increase all sorts of weird details and weird things happening in your PC. It can even prevent Windows Update from working correctly. So on modern PCs, I would probably recommend that you turn off the fast startup so that you remove that check mark and keep it like that. 
you will have a slightly longer boot time, but you probably will have a PC that runs better, crashes less, and maybe um, will run a little faster. And of course, if you have a laptop, run on batteries, well, no battery drain when you actually tar uh, shut down your PC. So that's going to be uh, a good thing. And the added bonus of the uptime in the task manager will always be correct. It will always be showing you how long your PC has been running at every session. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.